The Nintendo Switch is already home to a few decent baseball games, but which is best suited for your needs? I'm going to take a look at the big three titles plus an arcade offering and rank each one on the categories shown on the screen which I hope will help you decide which is for you. First up, the games I'm going to be talking about are RBI 19 from the MLB themselves. Now this is an arcade style game but with the full official MLB license. Next up is the most recently released Super Mega Baseball 2 from Metalhead Software and this is another arcadey offering with a surprisingly deep number of modes and mechanics. The Neo Geo offering Baseball Stars 2 is a classic budget retro game and finally the most obscure title on the list is the import only Jikyo Powerful Pros Baseball which has been released in the West previously as MLB Power Pros most recently on the Nintendo Wii. So the first category I've picked is graphics and sound which whilst not the most important thing in any game will usually form most of our first opinions when checking a game out so it's definitely worth talking about. These four games all bring something to the table in terms of visuals, whether the most lifelike offering in RBI to the outstanding pixel art of Baseball Stars 2 from the early 90s. But I'm going to give the highest score in this category to Jikyo Powerful Pro Baseball. On the surface, the oversized heads and stumpy extremities will probably have you questioning my sanity, but in motion this is a stunning game, particularly in terms of animation. The game has such fluid and varied animations, Watching a fielder chase a ball into the outfield before scooping it up and with a hop and a spin firing it realistically to second base is something that cannot be conveyed in screen grabs alone and this continues throughout the game from the actual players to the animated crowd and the lovely consistent graphical style across the front end. It really is a joy and would be my pick in this category. Now what I'm going to do in this comparison is award 4 points for the best of the categories down to 1 point so let's see how graphics score. So getting the full four points is Jikyo Powerful Pro Baseballs for the reasons I've just spoken about. Next up with three points is RBI 19 as although some of the animations are a little bit janky I really enjoy the more realistic look and the licensed graphics. Now whilst I feel Super Mega Baseball 2's visuals could be improved a bit their sheer variety of players and stadiums means it gets two points here in third place. Finally, one point goes to Baseball Stars 2, even though it has some absolutely stellar pixel artwork, there's just not enough variety here. Okay, gameplay is next, and whilst all obviously have similar mechanics, I'm going to also include stuff here like controls and accessibility. I have to hand this section to the most recent release, and that is Super Mega Baseball 2. As I've mentioned, the looks of this one belie the fact that Under the Hood is a really solid and fun physics engine, and a surprising take on baseball simulation. Couple that with a great control scheme that keeps you invested in every play and a wide range of modes. It's the most rounded package of the four and Jikyo maybe has the best in terms of pure gameplay but it certainly loses points for the fact it's all in Japanese and because of that non-Japanese speakers will struggle to get past the basic one-off exhibition games so I felt I couldn't score it as highly as the others. Let's get to the scoring on this one. So in first place as we said Super Mega Baseball 2 takes the full four points for being the most fun and deep game to play of the four. Second place was the toughie but again I've given three points to RBI 19 as although pure gameplay wise is very basic and hated on by a lot of players it does have the full MLB integration and if you just want some authentic baseball fun then you'll have a good time here. These last two spots were tough as well as Jikyo is probably the best game to play but also the least accessible to anyone without an understanding of Japanese. In the end I have to give the two points to it though as even just getting into a single game for which I've provided a guide to help you with which I'll link above means you'll get the best baseball gameplay on the Switch. Now not far behind but only scooping up a single point is Baseball Stars 2 primarily because its gameplay is as basic as RBI but without the extra bells and whistles. Talking of which the next category is licensing which I felt in a sports game was vital to many myself included so I had to have this as a category. A very obvious and clear winner here and that is of course RBI 19 which has a brilliant implementation of the MLB license from a front end that shows players, teams and colours from around the league to real licensed music tracks, stadiums and well the game just feels like the MLB to fans. For those based in Japan, Jikyo is actually licensed too but obviously includes the Japanese Baseball League rather than the MLB but it should be noted it does have an in-game editor if you wanted to westernise that game. So the scoring, number one, first easy place on four points to RBI 19. Three points go to Jikyo Powerful Pros, just purely because it does have a license, albeit not one that many fans would necessarily follow. 
Super Mega Baseball 2 picks up two points here. It has all fantasy teams, but does have an extensive in-game editor, so if you wanted to, you could edit in the official teams of your choosing. And bringing up the rear again with one point is Baseball Stars 2, which just features a few fantasy teams of countries around the world. Online now, and this is another important part of any sports game, and probably the most remarkable title here is RBI 19, which somehow fails again to include any online modes in the game for the Switch, although it does offer it on other platforms. It is a bigger mission, and that means we do have a clear winner here. So let's get to the scoring in this one. And number one in first place is clearly Super Mega Baseball 2, which has one of the most impressive online offerings of not just any sports game on the Switch, but also any game on the Switch period. It's fully featured, has cross-platform play, and most importantly, plays like a dream. If I could award more than four points to this one, I probably would. Number two by default, second place is Jikyo Powerful Pro Baseball. And the game does have online and up to four players, including co-op, but for players in the West, you'd struggle to get a good game due to the player base being mostly based in the Japanese time of day and also the server lag would probably be particularly bad. I say probably because I've still struggled to get into any online game, but it does have it included. And I'm going to give both RBI and Baseball Stars 2 one point here. Now, Baseball Stars 2 can't really help it as there was no online back when it was made, obviously. But for RBI 19, there can be really no excuses. The other console versions of it have online modes and it's constantly overlooked on the Switch version for no conceivable reason. The next category is value and Baseball Stars 2 has its time to shine at last. Coming in at just £6.29 and $7.99, it's easily the lowest priced game on the list and despite appearing at the bottom of many of the scores here, is actually an excellent game, especially for that price. Two of the remaining games are similarly priced and one is going to have you raiding the piggy bank, so let's get to the scoring. And number one, as we said, Baseball Stars 2 is incredible value for one of the best retro sports games on the market and takes a clearly deserved four points. Second and third was a tough call. Both RBI and Super Mega Baseball 2 are around the same price, but with its depth of modes and gameplay and its incredible online mode, I'm giving Super Mega Baseball 2 the three points here. That means RBI 19 gets two points, and the fact it's $30 and £30 irks me somewhat because it makes it better value in America, which doesn't often happen. This game does have a physical version though, which you should be able to find for a lot less if you shop around. Now rounding out on the value stakes is Jikyo Powerful Pro Baseball. An import version on cartridge from Play Asia starts at around £54, and with delivery and import tax could set you back an incredible £75, or getting on for around about $100. On the Japanese eShop it's around 7,000 yen, which works out at around £62 or $80 if you buy a Japanese eShop card. So yeah, it's a pricey import for a game that's not going to be fully accessible for everyone to understand. So there we are, the final box scores are in on the best baseball game on the Nintendo Switch. There could be a late entry here and that is the baseball game included in the upcoming official Olympics 2020 game due out in the UK and America sometime in early 2020. But if you are a dedicated baseball fan, I can tell you that the baseball engine Sega have made is really, really good and almost worth picking up the Olympics game from Japan just to play that. I'll add a link above to some of my content and you can decide if you want to jump in now and pick it up from the Japan eShop or hang on for the full Western release. Right, let's unveil the best baseball game on the Switch. And I'm actually really excited and nervous to find out what's coming out on top as I've not been adding up these scores as I go along. Wow, it's actually quite interesting to see how close these scored in the end, as I do believe the big three each have their own strengths and weaknesses, and depending on the person playing them, you could have a case for each being the best baseball game on the Switch. If you want a fully licensed MLB experience with the real players, stadiums and a deep season mode with trades and the like, then RBI, for all its faults, will give you the best time, especially if you can pick it up on the cartridge at a lower price. For the best all-round pure baseball game though, you can't really look any further than Super Mega Baseball 2. Its fun gameplay, deep customization suite and robust online modes will keep you playing for hundreds of games, absolutely no question. An honourable mention then to Baseball Stars 2, which at a much lower price than the other games is definitely worth picking up if you just want a fun baseball game, especially if you're planning it with your mates locally. And finally, if you have more money than sense and are willing to learn a little bit of Japanese, 
Jikio Powerful Pro Baseball is the connoisseur's choice, but expect an uphill struggle to play anything but the most basic of game modes. So there you go, the best baseball game on the Nintendo Switch in 2019 is Super Mega Baseball 2. Congrats to Metalhead Software, and if you want to know more about any of these games, then check out the links in the description below, as I've got some content on most of them. I hope you enjoyed watching out as much as I did making it, and please remember to like and subscribe to the channel for more baseball content. But until next time, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye everyone.